Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how do we analyze the panel data in R. So first we are going to load certain packages. I have already loaded them, so I'm not going to install them, but I'm, I'm going to explain to you what these packages are. So we have this PLM tag, uh, package, which is used for, uh, for, for the purpose of panel data regression. Then we have LM test package for conducting the statistical test. Uh, there are Hausman, et cetera, tests that we are going to perform. And then we have tidyverse package that we are going to use for the uh, data manipulation and formatting. There is another package which is called Stargazer, although I'm not installing it, but if you want to export the, uh, the tables, the analysis tables, uh, into nicely formatted tables, regression tables, then you can use this Stargazer table. Uh, Stargazer package. So let me load these libraries. And once you have loaded these libraries, I'm going to ins uh, load this data set. You can download this data set from the link given in the description. Uh, this is what we call the NS work data. I'm also going to select a few variables that I'm interested in in this video. Uh, and so that we, we just have a few variables that we are going to use. We have this ID code over here. Uh, this is the cross-sectional variable. So this represents the uh, the unique identifier for different individuals. We have their different years of data from 1970 till 1988. We have their log of wage, their number of hours per week that they have uh, worked. And then we have total experience that they have in number of years. So what we are going to do is let's first uh, first execute the pooled OLS and in pooled OLS we are assuming that there is no panel effect. That is, uh, that means that uh, there is no individual heterogeneity. So so we are assuming that there is no individual heterogeneity and we are not uh, taking into account the individuality of uh, for, of the each uh, each each person or each cross section into account. So what we are going to do, do is we are going to use the LM function, which is used for linear uh, model for linear regression. Our dependent variable is the wage variable. So uh, we use the tilde sign to separate dependent and the independent variables. Then our independent variables are the number of hours of work that they have put and the total experience that they have. Lastly, we will specify the, the data parameter uh, where we would specify the data that we have. This is the data that we have loaded, the NLS work that I have just explained to you. Uh, this is the data that I'm going to input into the LM package. Once I execute this, uh, the result will be stored in the model underscore pooled object, which we can uh, summarize using the summary uh, and we can look at the summary statistics. We can see that we have intercept, which is significant. Then we have the independent variable coefficients of the independent variable. Uh, all the number of hours uh, of work is insignificant, but our total experience is significant. And we also get the other test statistics, statistics like R square, etc. Okay, so let's move forward. And uh, now, the same pooled OLS, we can apply the same pooled OLS using the this this PLM package. And within PLM package, we have this function which is called PLM. Now this PLM stands for uh, Panel Data Analysis, Panel Linear Regression Models. Uh, but instead of using any panel data, what we are going to again do is we are going to execute the pooled OLS. But I'm just going to explain to you how we could have done the same analysis using the PLM package. So let me execute this and we should get exactly the same. Uh, okay, so we have got an, uh, an error and, uh, and that's good that so that we can explain why we have got this error. So what this says is that we do not have this P data. Now what I wanted to explain to you is that when you're going to use this PLM package, I intentionally skipped this line of code, then executed it. Uh, so when you do PLM uh, function, you would first have to define the panel data. You would first have to tell R that we the data we have is a panel data and, and we would have to define the cross-section and the time variable. For that, we use this 
p data frame uh, p, p p data dot frame function which is again from this plm package uh, it's it means panel data frame uh, so this is another kind of an object that would be created we would we would uh, we would input the data that we have and within the index we would define the the cross section variable and the time variable so once we do that then we would be able to execute the plm package uh, okay so now we have executed it and you can see uh, that uh, okay so let me execute the uh, let me execute the the model summary over here and now we can see that we have got the the same statistics the same coefficient and the same t value are so 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 what i mean to say is that uh, i have just demonstrated how to use this plm function uh, we we just did the pooled ols but i have demonstrated the idea of how to using the the, the plm function do remember that within this model parameter i have specified pooling which means pooled OLS and if I can show to you uh, the different options that we can use uh, within this PLM package from this help menu uh, then you can see that we can use the in the model parameter we can use within random uh, between then we can have pooling which is the pooled OLS and then we can have fixed uh, first difference Okay, so I'm just going to move forward to uh, to do the fixed effect model, uh, but first we would do it using the manual method. So what we do is we use the lm function again that we did previously. It is not from the plm package, just the base r package, just the base r function. Uh, I define my dependent and independent variable and within the factors I define this id code which is the cross-sectional variable and this is what it would do is that, let me show you the summary, what it would do is that it would generate a dummy variable for each of the cross section and we get uh, we get our, our, our coefficient for hours, number of hours of work and total experience and that is obviously different from the one that we had in the pooled uh, OLS. Now just have a look at this coefficient and this T values and once we move forward, and we would have to compare these t value and these coefficients so this is how we do fixed effect uh, manually but uh, a better way is to do it using this built-in function uh, which is the plm function and within plm function uh, rest of the data is exactly the same we specify the dependent independent variables we specify the data do remember to specify the the panel data that we have described over here defined over here uh, next, what we do is uh, within model, instead of writing the pooling, what we do is we write within uh, and that would uh, generate the uh, the same test statistics. Let me show the test, test statistics that would generate the same test statistics, except that now we do not have all the dummy variables that were generated over here. And you can see we have exactly the same coefficient. This is 2.9. 376 and when we did the manual method we get the exact uh, same uh, same t value so this is how we do fixed effect uh, using the plm function and now next move to random effect the rest of the things would remain same except that within this panel uh, within this model parameter we write the word random we execute this have the model summary and now we have the model uh, model statistics model sorry the random uh, effect model so uh, next we move on to certain tests that that is the bruce pagan test and the Hausman test and we decide using these tests we decide whether we need to do pooled ols or certain panel data technique that is fixed or random effect or we decide between panel uh, between the random effect and the fixed effect so first uh, Let's do Bruce Pagan test. And for Bruce Pagan test, first we need to execute the the random effect model, right? We just execute it uh, because that is the requirement for the test statistics uh, for this Bruce Pagan test. Next step is to perform the Bruce Pagan test using this BP test function. So this is the function that that within this function we we input the uh, the 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 test statistics that we have 
created uh, from the random effect model we execute this and now we get the value of uh, the, the p value for the bridge packet test so if the p value is less than 0 0.05 which in this case is less than 0 0.05 then uh, we say that we should not use the pool ols so the random the, the null hypothesis is we should use the pooled ols and the alternate hypothesis is that we should not use the full OLS. We should use some panel data technique. Now, Bruce Pagan test says that we should use uh, some panel data technique, but which one should we use? Should we use random effect or should we use fixed effect? For that, we decide that on the basis of the Hausmann test. Uh, for Hausmann test, we would have to perform certain steps. First is to estimate the fixed effect model. We do the fixed effect model. This is the same. We just save their estimates. Then we do the random effect model and save their estimates. And lastly, we are going to perform the Hausmann test using the pH test. And within the pH test, we would specify the, uh, the object of the fixed effect model and the object of the random effect model. Once we execute this, print the Hausmann test, we get the p-value. Now again, we have to look at the p-value. If p-value is less than 0 0.05, then we should use the fixed effect. Otherwise, we should use the random effect. Now that was uh, how to do panel data analysis. Let's move to ear fixed effect. Now first we are going to look into the ear fixed effect. How do we do ear fixed effect using the LM function? Uh, we just add a, another variable uh, using this factor function. Uh, and because our time variable is uh, uh, ear so we would have this ear as a fixed now if we want it in some some other fixed effects let's just say industry fixed effect although we do not have this variable so what you would do is you would do factor industry right or if you wanted to do country fixed effect so on and so forth you would just specify that variable within factor you can have multiple fixed effects in this case i'm just going to explain the ear fixed effect and save it into the object model uh, fe year right now summary statistics and we get the year fixed effect right we get all the uh, we have different years so we get dummy variable for all these years let's demonstrate that using the plm package within plm package that is the exact same method but now over here we did the pool OLS, but over here we are going to use the fixed effect if we were to use the fixed effect along with uh, uh, with the ear fixed effect, then I, we could have done it like this, right? So now these two codes would become identical. Okay, so we look at the summary test statistics now. But the, the idea is that whether we should use these uh, ear fixed effect or not. To decide that, we use the F test statistics decide between the fixed effects right whether that is individual fixed effect or ear fixed effect what we do is we execute the model and within uh, then we use the f statistics for which we use pf test and specify the uh, the model that is without uh, the uh, you know the, the model that is without the time fixed effect and the model that is with the time fixed effect and this uh, this test statistics would compare these models and if the p value in this case uh, it is greater than 0 0.05 but if it is less than 0 0.05 then we should use time fixed effect or whatever fixed effect that we are comparing but in this case it is greater than 0 0.05 so in this case we should not use the time fixed effect so i hope this video was useful do subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon